Hi guys, Jordan here. Um, so my partner bought me a subscription to uh, this thing called No BS Coffee or Nobs Coffee. It's like this subscription service for coffee and they do like specialty roasters around Melbourne. Pretty exciting for me. Uh, it's the first one has just arrived. Um, and it looks like it's from Akuba Coffee. Pretty cool. Um, it says notes of brown sugar pudding. Are you in the mood? Better than D'Angelo can. I don't know who D'Angelo is, and I also don't know who Akuba is. Um, so this will be, yeah, this will be pretty cool. It says peel off label, but I'm going to open it and I hope to give it a review shortly. I just had a coffee, so probably won't do that right now. Do it later. Oh, that smells good. Comes with a little, um, I guess, yeah, because each month uh, it's from a different roaster, um, so they probably want to advertise their a uh, little roaster or their beans so that you like after the subscription ends probably purchase more of their beans so that's why there's a little bit of literature in the box um, cool small batches cool looks good I don't know much about the Cuba This uh, blend, blend, yeah, this blend is the restoration. It says 34% Brazil Santa Adelia, 33% Ethiopia Sadamo, 33% PNG Congo. Bold yet balanced with choc nougat, plum, and marmalade notes. So, uh, sounds like you're fairly standard. I reckon it'll be a bit of a darker roast. Um, and the roast date was the 6th of August. Um, it's about a week, week and a day old. It's not too bad. Um, pretty fresh. Um, smells good. Yeah. Um, so I will give this a review. I'll make, I'll make a cup of coffee. I'll give it a review. And I'll let you know what I think. And I'll do a couple more of these, obviously. Probably once a month, once. It's come out. It's 250 grams. It feels like 250 grams. Doesn't say it is, but I'll weigh it and let you know. So I've made a cup of coffee. It's later on in the day. Um, the roast was a lot lighter than I expected, which was interesting because usually with these kind of um, things, like the try this coffee, um, it'll be like quite a dark one because that's just more accessible and familiar for a lot of people. Um, so I appreciate that. I haven't tasted it yet. Uh, let's give it a go. Oh, that's pretty good. Um, probably won't get into the tasting notes because um, it's so subjective and also I'm bad at it. Most importantly, I'm bad at it. Um, but, you know, it's quite nice. It's a bit different to kind of your normal, uh, what you'd expect, um, which is which I appreciate. I like um, milk in my coffee, which tends to, you know, flavour the coffee. So um, there's also that. Um, but yeah, I guess bold yet balanced with choc nougat, plum, and marmalade notes. Yeah, so I'm not getting too much marmalade, um, but yeah, the rest is pretty pretty accurate, I'd say. Um, it's not as sweet uh, as I expected, and. That's probably as far as I'll go. Um, one thing I would say, um, 
about uh, the brand is that I would appreciate kind of more information on how the coffee is sourced. Um, though I note that it does say, you know, check this QR code, you'll find more information. So it might be there. Um, I haven't checked that. Uh, so, yeah, it probably is. Um, obviously, it does say where it's sourced there, but I mean, like, how, um, like, you know, are you using slaves? Maybe don't do that. Um, that kind of information is pretty hard to find with the coffee industry. Um, so, fair enough. But, yeah, this is really nice. The Restoration Akuba Coffee Roasters. Lovely. Anyways, um, so I'll probably do an episode a month on these thingos. Um, let me know if you're interested. Uh, if you're not, too bad, because I'm bored and there's nothing else to do. Thanks for listening.